Hello everyone. A subscriber had requested me to cover a three digit multiplied by three digit example where there are zeros in the num given numbers. Okay, so I have considered this particular example here 304 multiplied by 804. Both the numbers have a zero in the middle. So I'll explain the steps involved in doing this kind of sum. Okay, so it's a three digit number multiplied by three digit number. So we'll start from the sixth rod. Remember, as you know, that while uh, starting a multiplication on Abacus sum, we have to first decide from which rod we'll start our calculation. So three digit here, three digit there. So total of six digits we can see. So our calculation also will start from the sixth rod. So this is the first rod, second, third, fourth, fifth and sixth. So we'll start our calculation from the sixth rod here. Um, this being a three digit into three digit, we'll uh, divide it into three parts. Okay. So this 804 is our multiplier. In the first part, we'll consider the 8 from this 804. And with this 8, we'll multiply each of the digits of 304. Okay. This will be our first part of the calculation. So 8 multiplied by 3 will be our first step which will start from the 6th rod. 8 multiplied by 3 is 24. So we'll take 2 here on 4 on the next rod. Move one place to the right. Then the next step is 8 multiplied by 0. As we know, any number multiplied by 0 is 0. So we won't be taking anything from this rod. We'll move one place to the right again. And for the third step, it is 8, zero, eight multiplied by 4. 8 multiplied by 4 is 32. So we'll add 32 from this rod. 32. Okay. So the first part of the calculation is done. For the second part, we'll start from the fifth rod. Remember, the first part we started from the sixth rod. For the second part, while multiplying it with the tenths place digit of the multiplier, we'll start from the fifth rod. Okay. Now here, the tenths place digit is zero itself. Okay. And zero multiplied by any number is zero. So there is this second part will go blank. There will be no answer to be added on the abacus for the second part. Zero multiplied by three or zero multiplied by zero or zero multiplied by four. Every answer is zero. So nothing is to be added for the second part. So we'll directly go to the third part. Now in the third part, it, the calculation will start from the fourth rod. Okay. The first part started from the sixth rod. The second part started from the fifth rod and the third part will start from the fourth rod. In the third part, the calculation will be 4 multiplied by 3 will be added from this rod. Okay, the 4 from the units place uh, rod of the 804 multiplied with the hundreds place digit of the 304. So 4 multiplied by 3 is 12. 12 will be added from this rod. 1 here, 2 on the next rod. Then moving one place to the right, 4 multiplied by 0 is 0. So nothing is to be added from this rod. Moving one place to the right for the final step. 4 multiplied by 4 is 16. So 16 will be added from this second rod. So 1 here and 6 on the units place. So the final answer that we have for 304 multiplied by 804 is 244416. In short, it is 244,416 or 2,44,416. This is our final answer.